guys, what's up? It's High School Mac. Today, I'm going to be talking about Hackintoshes and building your own Hackintosh. So what I'm going to be doing, guys, is taking you through Tony Mac X86 website. And what they just did is release the new 2012 Ivy Bridge build guides. They have the budget build, the pro build, and then the way more expensive socket 2011 build. Um, I'm just going to be sticking to the budget build and the pro build because those are what most Hackintoshes will be using. So basically his website lists all the most compatible hardware out there and with the stuff on his website, these links right here, you can easily build yourself a Hackintosh, even if you are a first time Hackintosher. So right now I'm just going to go through and I'm going to start with the budget build. So you can see for the budget build, he, Tony Mac lists the Intel Core i5 and this these are all the new Ivy Bridge processors. So I open up the different ones and this is the one that he recommends for the budget build and of course has Intel HD graphics and these are all supported with Mountain Lion. So you can see this is $230. Also upgrade to the i7s if you'd like on the budget build. Obviously it will raise your price. So for the budget build, you're given four different options of motherboards. Uh, this is the one I chose right here. Uh, it's $100, so good price. And you can select between these also. Uh, there's a $134 one. So if you want a little, little better one, you can go to that one. Uh, I just selected this one for $100. Uh, next on the list, we'll just go and do RAM right here because I would open. So for RAM, on the budget build, you can get 4 gigs, 8 gigs, or 16 gigs. And that obviously depends on what you're going to be using your computer for. I chose 8 gigs for this because most people will be perfectly fine with 8 gigs. Okay, so that's $55 for this. Obviously, you can lower the price by going with 4 gigs for 25 or you can raise it up and get more performance going up to $90 on the 16 gigs. So for the hard drive, I just added in this Seagate Barracuda. And it's just a 1 terabyte 7200 and it makes use of the SATA 6 gigabits per second. So for $100, it's a great hard drive. Uh, next on the list, the power supply. Now, this is the one that he recommends with the budget build, and it's $44, so it's really cheap. Uh, if you're thinking of maybe using a graphics card in the budget build, you might want to look into that because some graphics cards will require uh, higher watts than this. So 430 might not be enough for everything you're going to be doing. But if you're just doing the standalone budget build, this will work fine. So this is what I'm using for the budget build. And then finally, the case, uh, this is also recommended. It's $80 right here, and then it'll work for everything you're going to be using. So I just made this as a quick overview right here. And it has all the parts listed that we just went through and the prices that correspond with them. Uh, as you can see also, the Wi-Fi adapter and the SSD is included in the total price here. So... It is $736.88. And you're getting a great Hackintosh build right here for the price. And you can do lots of stuff with this build. Uh, if you don't want to go all out on the Pro build, this is the build I would recommend. And these are the parts I recommend for it. Now, if you do want a graphics card with the budget build, you can probably find on the Tony Mac website, you can get a $100 graphics card. But I believe on that graphics card, you're going to need a stronger wattage uh, power supply. So. So you have to look at the power supplies on Tony Max list on his website. And again, I'll put links in the description for these builds and links to his website. So now we're going to move on to the Ivy Bridge Custom Mac Pro build. So I'll take you through this build and show you a couple of different configurations. And then in the end, I'll show you the one I chose. So first off, you can see this is what I put together right here. And... From right here, it came out to be basically $1,300, and there's a little more to that once again because of what I added from Amazon. So I'll show you that again in a little bit. So again, you can choose the i5 processor with your Pro build. If you choose the i5, it will lower the price, obviously, $100 if you go to this processor instead of the i7s, but you will take a slight performance hit. So for the Pro build, because it is a Pro build, I went with the top line i7 and it's a 3.5 gigahertz to the 3.9 turbo then next for the motherboards i just chose the 190 dollar one if you would like thunderbolt support you can get the 250 dollar one and this has dual thunderbolt as you can see 
because I didn't see Thunderbolt as a huge necessity for me, I went with just the standard $190 one. And of course, both of these do have USB 3.0, which is a nice feature to have now. This is supported in Mountain Lion. So this is the motherboard I chose. Uh, next, this is the one that was recommended on Tony Mac. Obviously, any ATX mid tower will work depending on what you want and how much you want to pay. I just chose this one because I thought it looked good and I was reading through the features and it seemed to be perfect for this pro build. Next we have the power supply and this is a Corsair. And like I was talking about earlier on the budget build, this is a 650 watt. So you can see the pro build demands a little more power. So if, and that is mainly because some of the graphics card you'll be choosing, we'll see that up here. But if you think you're going to do the budget build and you want to use a graphics card, I suggest getting this uh, power supply right here. So this is the one I select. This is uh, $114 you see here with a $10 rebate. Um, next, we're going to go over to the graphics card. The card you select will really depend on what you use your computer for. Now, the top one they have listed on Tony Mac is the GeForce GTX 680, and this is the super clock right here. And as you can see, it's a whopping $510. So if you're a hardcore gamer and have you video editing and 3D animation and whatnot, maybe this is what you want. The next one right here, the GTX 670, will easily do anything you need. And this is this is a standard instead of the 680 super clock. I read that there have been some problems with the super clock 680, so maybe this is better anyways, depending on what you need. Uh, and then this was just released, the 660Ti. Uh, this is the one I use for my build right here. Uh, it's two gigs of the GDR5. This for sure could easily handle anything I'd throw at it, so this is perfect for me. Maybe even a little bit overkill, but I figured because it's a pro build, this is what I would do. And then you can go down to the 221, and this is the 560Ti. I did read a few things that some people were running into a little bit of trouble with this card. But uh, I think that should be all worked out. Uh, this is 220, but you can see right here with a $30 rebate, it comes down to 190. So if you didn't want to fork out the 300 for the 660, this is definitely the one to get. If you want to drop down, you can go down to the GT640. And it's still got the two gigs of DDR3 memory, not DDR5. But what it is lacking is the SLI support that all these other cards have. So it will be a lot cheaper at $95 with the rebate so if you want to build a pro build and still have a graphics card and keep your prices down I would suggest this one but other than that I would say either the 660 which is what I chose so this is just a one terabyte hard drive and this is the same from the budget build so here we have the RAM and I just went to 16 gigabytes of RAM it's the pro model this is what they suggest on Tony Mac's website on his website he lists some SSDs from Amazon and this is where I decided I would get mine and as you can see right now, Amazon has some crazy deals going on. Um, I don't know if this is just for today, but $80 for the 120 white SSD. And you can see the 240 is $155, which is crazy good. So if you're uh, going to get an SSD, you can really look into these. And even the 480 gig is only 350 So the prices of SSDs are going down. So I would suggest getting one, especially if you're doing the pro build. It makes your computer run so much faster. On the website, they have this Wi-Fi adapter listed, and it's just a PCI Express, and it works natively. So, Okay, so here's the overview of the Custom Mac Pro build. Uh, I have all the hardware listed right here that we just went through and the prices that go along with it. Uh, as you can see, the Wi-Fi adapter from Amazon and the SST from Amazon are included, and the total price comes out to $1,376.87. And this is a great price for the type of beastly computer you're going to be building. Uh, this Hackintosh right here will be able to do almost anything you can think of that you can throw at it. From uh, heavy video editing to gaming and everything you can think of in between. Uh, so, I mean, it's a great way to build an OS X computer that's extremely powerful. And, you know, there's so many options with Hackintoshes, and that's why I'm thinking of building one. Uh, I only have so much money to spend right now on a new computer, 
I do really want a MacBook Pro, and if I can find one for the right price, I'll more than likely take that route just because I do need a laptop. But a Hackintosh has always been in the back of my mind, and I know people out there that do want to build Hackintoshes. So I thought this video could be helpful to people just to take a look at these new 2012 builds. If you guys have any questions to the parts I chose for these builds that I think would be good, or uh, any other questions, please just leave a comment. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I uh, hope this sheds some light on these new Hackintosh builds. Uh, please subscribe if you're not subscribed, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.